C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 7 congruence of triangles page 141 S A S game appu let me now change the rules of the triangle copying game Tipu. Right. Go ahead. Appu. You have already found that giving the length of only one side is useless. Tipu. Of course, yes. Appu. In that case, let me tell that in triangle ABC, one side is 5.5 centimeters and one angle is 65 degrees. Tipu. This again is not sufficient for the job. I can find many triangles satisfying your information, but are not copies of triangle ABC. For example, I have given here some of them. Figure 7.18. In this figure, Three triangles are given in which one side is 5.5 centimeters. The measures of angles of first triangle are 25 degrees, 65 degrees and 90 degrees. For the second triangle the measures are 50 degrees, 65 degrees and 65 degrees. And for the third triangle the measures are 20 degrees, 65 degrees and 95 degrees. Page 142 Appu, so what shall we do? Tipu, more information is needed. Appu, then let me modify my earlier statement. In triangle ABC, the length of two sides are 5.5 centimeters and 3.4 centimeters. And the angle between these two sides is 65 degrees. Tipu. This information should help me. Let me try. I draw first line segment BC of length 5.5 centimeters. Figure 7.191. Now I make 65 degrees at C. Figure 7.192. Yes, I got it. A must be 3.4 centimeters away from C along this angular line through C. I draw an arc of 3.4 centimeters with C as center. It cuts the 65 degrees line at A. Now I join AB and get triangle ABC. Figure 7.193 Appu, you have used side angle side, where the angle is included between the sides. Tipu, yes. How shall we name this criterion? Appu, it is SAS criterion. Do you follow it? Tipu, yes, of course. SAS congruence criterion. If under a correspondence, two sides and the angle included between them of a triangle are equal to two corresponding sides and the angle included between them of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Example 4. Given below are measurements of some parts of two triangles. Examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not by using SAS congruence rule. If the triangles are congruent, write them in symbolic form. Triangle ABC Triangle DEF A AB is equal to 7 centimeters, BC is equal to 
5 centimeters. Angle B is equal to 50 degrees. DE is equal to 5 centimeters. EF is equal to 7 centimeters. Angle E is equal to 50 degrees. B. AB is equal to 4.5 centimeters. AC is equal to 4 centimeters. Angle A is equal to 60 degrees. DE is equal to 4 centimeters. FD is equal to 4.5 centimeters. Angle D is equal to 55 degrees. C. BC is equal to 6 centimeters. AC is equal to 4 centimeters. Angle B is equal to 35 degrees. DF is equal to 4 centimeters. EF is equal to 6 centimeters. Angle E is equal to 35 degrees. It will be always helpful to draw a rough figure, mark the measurements, and then probe the question. Page 143 Solution A. Here, AB is equal to EF, which is equal to 7 centimeters. BC is equal to DE, which is equal to 5 centimeters. And included angle B is equal to included angle E, which is equal to 50 degrees. Also, A corresponds to F, B corresponds to E, and C corresponds to D. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED by SAS congruence rule. Figure 7.20 Figure 7.20 here, two triangles ABC and DEF are given in which AB is equal to 7 cm, BC is equal to 5 cm and angle B is equal to 50 degrees. ED is equal to 5 cm, EF is equal to 7 cm and angle E is equal to 50 degrees. B. Here, AB is equal to FD and AC is equal to DE. Figure 7.21 Here, two triangles ABC and DEF are given in which AB is equal to 4.5 cm, AC is equal to 4 cm and angle A is equal to 60 degrees. ED is equal to 4 cm, EF is equal to 4 cm, DF is equal to 4.5 cm and angle D is equal to 55 degrees. But Included angle A is not equal to included angle D. So, we cannot say that the triangles are congruent. C. Here, BC is equal to EF. AC is equal to DF. And angle B is equal to angle E. But, angle B is not the included angle between the sides AC and BC. Similarly, angle E is not the included angle between the sides EF and DF. So, SAS congruence rule cannot be applied and we cannot conclude that the two triangles are congruent. Figure 7.22 In this figure, Two triangles ABC and DEF are given in which BC is equal to 6 cm, AC is equal to 4 cm and angle B is equal to 35 degrees. EF is equal to 6 cm, DF is equal to 4 cm and angle E is equal to 35 degrees. Example 5 In figure 7.23 AB is equal to AC and AD is the bisector of angle BAC. 1. State three pairs of equal parts 
in triangles ADB and ADC. 2. Is triangle ADB congruent to triangle ADC? Give reasons. 3. Is angle B equal to angle C? Give reasons. Figure 7.23 In this figure, triangle ABC is given in which AD is the bisector and AB is equal to AC is given. Solution 1. The three pairs of equal parts are as follows. AB is equal to AC. Given. Angle BAD is equal to angle CAD. AD bisects angle BAC and AD is equal to AD. Common. 2. Yes, triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC by SAS congruence rule. 3. Angle B is equal to angle C. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Try these. 1. Which angle is included between the sides, line segments DE and EF of triangle DEF? 2. By applying SAS congruence rule, you want to establish that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle FED. It is given that PQ is equal to FE and RP is equal to DF. What additional information is needed to establish the congruence? Page 144 3. In figure 7.24, measures of some parts of the triangles are indicated. By applying SAS congruence rule, state the pairs of congruent triangles, if any, in each case. In case of congruent triangles, write them in symbolic form. Figure 7.24 1. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF are given in which AB is equal to 2.5 cm, AC is equal to 2.8 cm, angle A is equal to 80 degrees. DE is equal to 2.5 cm, DF is equal to 2.8 cm, angle D is equal to 70 degrees. 2. Triangle ABC and triangle PQR are given in which BC is equal to 3 cm, AC is equal to 2.5 cm, angle C is equal to 35 degrees. PQ is equal to 3 cm, PR is equal to 2.5 cm, angle P is equal to 35 degrees. 3. Triangle DEF and triangle PQR are given in which EF is equal to 3 cm, DF is equal to 3.5 cm, angle F is equal to 40 degrees. QR is equal to 3 cm, PQ is equal to 3.5 cm, angle Q is equal to 40 degrees. 4. Quadrilateral PQRS is given in which PQ is equal to SR is equal to 3.5 cm and Angle SRP is equal to angle QPR is equal to 30 degrees. 4. In figure 7.25, line segments AB and CD bisect each other at O. 1. State the three pairs of equal parts in two triangles AOC and BOD. 2. Which of the following statements are true? A. Triangle AOC is congruent to triangle DOB. B. Triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD. Figure 7.25 In this figure, AO is equal to BO and CO is equal to DO. ASA Game can you draw a Poo's triangle if you know? 1. 
only one of its angles, two, only two of its angles, three, two angles and any one side, four, two angles and the side included between them. Attempts to solve the above questions lead us to the following criterion. ASA congruence criterion. If under a correspondence, two angles and the included side of a triangle are equal to two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Example 6. By applying ASA congruence rule, it is to be established that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle QRP and it is given that BC is equal to RP. What additional information is needed to establish the congruence? Page 145 Solution For ASA congruence rule, we need the two angles between which the two sides BC and RP are included. So, the additional information is as follows. Angle B is equal to angle R and angle C is equal to angle P. Example 7 In figure 7.26, can you use ASA congruence rule and conclude that triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD? Page 145, figure 7.26. In this figure, angle AOC is equal to 30 degrees, angle ACO is equal to 70 degrees, angle ODB is equal to 70 degrees, and AC is equal to BD is equal to 3 centimeters. Solution In the two triangles, AOC and BOD, angle C is equal to angle D, each 70 degrees. Also, angle AOC is equal to angle BOD, which is equal to 30 degrees, vertically opposite angles. So, angle A of triangle AOC is equal to 180 degrees minus, within brackets, 70 degrees plus 30 degrees which is equal to 80 degrees, using angle sum property of a triangle. Similarly, angle B of triangle BOD is equal to 180 degrees minus, within brackets, 70 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is equal to 80 degrees. Thus, we have angle A is equal to angle B, AC is equal to BD and angle C is equal to angle D. Now, side AC is between angle A and angle C and side BD is between angle B and angle D. So, by ASA congruence rule, triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD. Remark Given two angles of a triangle, you can always find the third angle of the triangle. So, whenever two angles and one side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two angles and one side of another triangle, you may convert it into two angles and the included side form of congruence and then apply the ASA congruence rule. Try these. 1. What is the side included between the angles M and N of triangle MNP? 2. You want to establish triangle DEF congruent to triangle MNP using the ASA congruence rule. You are given that Angle D is equal to angle M, 
and angle F is equal to angle P. What information is needed to establish the congruence? Draw a rough figure and then try. 3. In figure 7.27, measures of some parts are indicated. By applying ASA congruence rule, state which pairs of triangles are congruent. In case of congruence, write the result in symbolic form. Figure 7.27 1. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF are given. AB is equal to 3.5 cm, angle A is equal to 40 degrees, angle B is equal to 60 degrees and EF is equal to 3.5 cm, angle E is equal to 60 degrees, angle F is equal to 40 degrees. 2. Triangle PQR and triangle DEF are given. PR is equal to 3.3 cm, angle Q is equal to 90 degrees, angle R is equal to 50 degrees. EF is equal to 3.5 cm, angle D is equal to 90 degrees, angle E is equal to 50 degrees. Page 146 3. Triangle PQR and triangle LMN are given. QR is equal to 6 cm, angle R is equal to 60 degrees, angle Q is equal to 30 degrees, and LN is equal to 6 cm, Angle L is equal to 60 degrees. Angle N is equal to 30 degrees. 4. Triangle ADB and triangle ACB are given. Angle CAB is equal to 30 degrees. Angle ADC is equal to 45 degrees. Angle DBA is equal to 30 degrees. And angle DBC is equal to 45 degrees. 4. Given below are measurements of some parts of two triangles. Examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not by ASA congruence rule. In case of congruence, write it in symbolic form. Triangle DEF Triangle PQR 1. Angle D is equal to 60 degrees Angle F is equal to 80 degrees. DF is equal to 5 centimeters. Angle Q is equal to 60 degrees. Angle R is equal to 80 degrees. QR is equal to 5 centimeters. 2. Angle D is equal to 60 degrees. Angle F is equal to 80 degrees. DF is equal to 6 centimeters. Angle Q is equal to 60 degrees. Angle R is equal to 80 degrees. QP is equal to 6 centimeters. 3. Angle E is equal to 80 degrees. Angle F is equal to 30 degrees. EF is equal to 5 centimeters. Angle P is equal to 80 degrees. PQ is equal to 5 centimeters. Angle R is equal to 30 degrees. 5. In figure 7.28, ray AZ bisects angle DAB as well as angle DCB. 1. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangles BAC and DAC. 2. Is triangle BAC congruent to triangle DAC? Give reasons. 3. Is AB equal to AD? Justify your answer. 4. Is CD equal to CB? Give reasons. Figure 7.28. Triangle ADC and triangle ABC are given in which AZ is the angle bisector. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.